So look, it is no secret. If you're looking to start a social media marketing agency or any online business for that matter, you are gonna be going up against other people. There's gonna be competition. And well, if you're going up against competition in a fairly crowded market, you are going to have to find ways to get an edge over them to be better than them. This, my friends, is what this whole video is all about. Not about focusing on competition, but focusing on how to overcome the saturation in the social media marketing space, how to beat your competition, and three exact strategies that you can use to get an edge over anyone in the social media marketing game to speed your way up to success. These are strategies that I've learned during my SMA journey, so over two years now. Strategies that I wish I'd known way earlier because it would have really helped me speed my way up to success. And strategies that after watching this video, you are gonna be able to directly implement on your agency to have incredible success. So I'm super excited for this video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. But before we get into it, let's first address the big elephant in the room because I just made a big assumption, which is the social media marketing agency space is saturated. And it's a big question that I get very often. Is SMA saturated? Are you still able to have success, et cetera, et cetera. And I actually wanna address that before we actually get into the strategies to actually prime your mindset so you can use the strategies and have success with SMMA. Now for this point, I'm gonna go on my whiteboard. Hopefully you guys can see that. You can also see that I've got a ring light, uh, but hopefully the reflection is not too bad. And uh, it's a concept that I call the eco chamber concept. You guys might've heard of this concept before. And the way it goes is you wanna imagine yourself as an entity in the middle, okay? So this is you, a pretty small point right there with big goals, big aspirations, big things you wanna do with your life. Like for example, having a successful social media marketing agency. And around you, there is your space, the industry, and this is the SMA space. Now, what happens when you're in the trenches building your agency? Online businesses and things like, for example, social media marketing agency are very clicky. And what I mean by that is people like to form communities. But I've personally found that the fewer people that actually do something, the more clicky it gets because it actually feels like an underground community, right? So for example, if you take a look at my free Facebook group, uh, Mastermind, at the time I'm recording this, there's around 1400 plus members in there. And then you see my YouTube subscribers watch my videos, et cetera, et cetera. And it really feels like there's a lot of people in the space, right? And not only that, but you see these people interact, they see, you see these people comment, et cetera, et cetera. And so what happens is that all you see every single day is people in this space, right? So you see other entities talking about the exact same thing. And th th this is when you get the eco chamber effect. What you don't seem to realize is that there's this whole, I mean, it doesn't even fit in here, right? There's just this massive world of other things that people are doing that are not social media marketing agency. For example, even just in the online space, not going any further, but you know, drop shipping, right? Or Amazon FBA, or you know, stock trading, uh, or like investment banking, which is a massive thing, right? Or uh, being a lawyer or being a doctor, right? So there's a ton of other things that people are doing. And if you guys want any proof of this, go ahead, meet up with your high school friends, right? Grab a beer uh, and then talk about social media marketing agency. I can assure you probably the vast, vast majority of people don't even know what social media marketing agency is. They haven't even heard of the concept, not even going very far. My parents, when I explain them what I do, they don't really understand it quite yet, right? And so is one of the things that you have to realize that even though you see a lot of people in the space, that's because you're getting this eco chamber effect. So that's the first concept that I want you to keep in mind is the fact that you think a lot of people are doing this thing, but it's simply because you're stuck here as the entity. And then all you see every single day is this Facebook groups or, you know, people crushing it or, you know, you follow people on social media and they all do this one thing, but you fail to realize that there's other spaces, like for example, investment banking, which is plagued with competition. I would argue that this thing is saturated or being an engineer is saturated or being a, a lawyer or being a doctor is saturated, right? Not as a mate, okay? So that's really the first thing that I want you to keep in mind. Now, the second concept that I want you to keep in mind is, let's just go ahead and, and zoom into the circle that I just drew uh, of SMA. So we've got you here as the entity and then you've got a bunch of people in the social media marketing agency space, okay? Another thing you need to realize is that there are a lot of tire kickers in any space, right? So out of the 100,000 plus people interested in the space, people who have looked into the space, there's a very slim percentage of people that actually take action. And this happens across all areas of life. This might've even happened to you in your personal life when maybe you're trying to get your friend into, I don't know, whatever, meditation or you know building a business and they never seem to take action. 
That's because as humans, we like to procrastinate. We like to take the easy way out. And so the easy way out is not to build a business, okay? And so you see a lot of people who are talking big game. You see a lot of people who want to get into the space, who are looking into it. They're following everyone on, on, on YouTube, right? But they never take that extra step, right? And so there's a lot of people in the space. The percentage of people that actually take action is, let's just say that you take action, is a much smaller percentage. Now, out of this percentage, so these are the action takers, okay? Out of this percentage, a very, very tiny percentage actually know what they're doing. Maybe a tiny percentage have actually invested into themselves, right? So they take it way more seriously. They have a clear plan of attack. They know what they're doing. And so that is a very slim percentage. The highest percentage of the action takers are not really taking things seriously, or they just don't have a clear plan of attack. And so it's really not that hard to beat them, okay? So that's the second thing that you wanna keep in mind. These are the serious people. And out of these serious people, there's a slim percentage of them who actually think for themselves, who actually care about results, who actually care about clients, who are always trying to level up. And these are what I call very competent people, okay? So a very tiny percentage are competent people, okay? That's the second concept that I want you to keep in mind. And the reason why I wanted to draw this out is because it's very easy to lack that perspective, to think that it's this incredibly saturated space. But first of all, realize that you are in an echo chamber. And secondly, realize that the people that you're going up against most of them are not even taking action. The ones that are taking action, most of them are not really serious or they don't have a clear plan of attack. And out of the ones that have invested into themselves or have a clear plan of attack, there's only very few of them that are actually competent. So that is the first point that I want you to keep in mind. Now, this does not mean that there's no competition. And so that is what the three strategies that I'm gonna share with you right now are all about. About standing out, getting an edge over the people who are truly serious, taking action, just like you. And so without further ado, let's get right into the strategies. So the first strategy is finding your blue ocean. Now, there's a great book on this called The Blue Ocean Strategy. I recommend you guys check it out if you're serious about business. But basically, the gist of it that I've applied for my agency, for my personal brand, for everything that I do nowadays, is just a complete different way of approaching competition. When you talk to people about competition, they typically think that you're going head to head against someone in your own space and you're fighting for the same attention and same customers. And that's actually usually the case in most industries, for example, Coca-Cola or Pepsi. But the core concept of this book is finding a blue ocean, a space where a lot of people are not competing, instead of a red bloody ocean where everyone's competing for the same prospects for the same clients. Now, to apply this for your social media marketing agency, a lot of people when they start an agency, they either go down the local business route, the traditional restaurant, clinic, dentist route, which is a bit of a red ocean, or they go down the e-commerce route, which is also a bit of a red ocean. Why? Because as default, most people pick one of the two. And so the way I recommend you apply this strategy and actually get an edge over competitors is by going ahead and narrowing down into a specific sub niche within e-commerce. So instead of just doing e-commerce, you can do nutrition or you can do tech. You narrow down into a specific sub niche. And that way you are tapping into a blue ocean because not many agencies are operating in solely that space. That gives you a massive edge straight out the bat because all of a sudden you are an expert in that field because there's not a lot of agencies who are specifically around that space. And not only that, but it's much easier to speak their language because you are focused on one single sub niche. You know what their triggers are, you know what their pain points are, you know what they're looking for, you know what they're struggling with, et cetera, et cetera. And so the conversations with prospects are much more effective. So that is really the first strategy that I want you guys to keep in mind, the blue ocean strategy. And if you haven't picked up this book, I recommend you guys do so. And with that being said, let's get right into the second strategy. The second strategy is all about questioning the conventional. And so the convention in the agency space that you can question is the fact that most agency owners spend most of their time writing cold emails and cold calling people that don't care about them, that haven't invested one single ounce of interest in them. And so they spend most of their waking hours on people that don't care about them and they're really not being effective with their time. And so what happens is, Number one, they don't get enough meetings booked. And the byproduct of that is that unless you've had prior uh, sales experience, you're not landing enough calls to truly get competent with your sales and confident on client calls. When I started my agency, I wanted to do things differently because I went down that route and not only did I not get results, but I absolutely hated my time. And so one of the things that I did, for example, with my sales and outreach is put together what I call the automated sales funnel. And it's a way to have what I call personalized automation. And so what I recommend you guys do is instead of spending most of your time writing cold emails to people that don't care about you go ahead and automate completely that top of the funnel so that when they actually show interest then you take over and that's when you really want to go hard because those are revenue generating activities writing cold emails to people that don't care about you and cold calling people is not a revenue generating activity it's a way of lying to yourself that you're getting stuff done but you're not moving the needle forward so that's the second strategy that i want you guys to keep in mind and now onto the final strategy but before we get into the final strategy go ahead and drop a big big thumbs up i'd really appreciate it it will help shut down with the algorithm and this videos take a lot of time to not only 
only put the ideas down together, but also me taking time out of the actual running of the business, which is what I actually dedicate most of my energy to uh, running my agency and also editing this video. So I really, really appreciate it. Go ahead and drop a big thumbs up if you haven't already and you're enjoying this video. And with that being said, let's go right into the final point. The third point to beat your competition is actually care. And look, it might sound cliche, but if you're a subscriber of my channel, you know how much I care about client experience. And that's why I have a 14 month retention rate. And the way you do that is by actually caring about your clients, actually caring about communication, reporting, and your results. Most agency owners do not give enough energy and time to reporting and communication. And when it comes to results, especially for e -com, you want to have a 360 approach. Yes, you want to narrow down and only offer one single service, but you should be finding ways of giving free consultations to your clients. For example, on their email marketing, for example, on their CRO website optimization, for example, on the sales funnel. Having that 360 approach really sets you apart from other agencies, especially in the e-com space, which is the route I recommend you guys take. And that will give you a massive edge over the competition in the SMA space. So guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed these strategies. I really hope you guys can take these strategies and apply them to your agency straight away. If you enjoyed this video, as I said, go ahead and drop a big, big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also leave them below any comments, any questions you may have on this video, and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subbed to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship and social media marketing agency with a specific focus on EMA, e-commerce marketing agency, sales and outreach. So if you don't wanna miss any of that, go ahead and sub to my YouTube channel. And the final thing is, if you haven't checked out my free master class. There's nothing for sale, no, no paywall at the end. Uh, and people are literally implementing the scripts, the templates that I give you in that masterclass, taking them and applying for their agency to get incredible results. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link down below so you can access it and quick heads up, I'm probably gonna be taking it down. And if you guys know me, you know that's not a, a sales tactic. I truly mean that. So if you wanna check it out, go ahead and check it down below. And as always guys, hope everything's going well in your journey and I will see you in the next one, peace.